All right, just making a quick video talking about pass-through charging. This is my Jackery 240, and this is one of my favorite units to do pass-through charging with. I'll get into some more details about that in another video. But um, yeah, I just wanted to explain pass-through charging, right? Because if you're looking at buying a power station, um, or if you've got one, and um, you've noticed that like they'll say that you can do pass-through charging, but the manufacturer will say like we don't recommend it, right? Which is kind of like a weird thing to say that you can do it and then we don't recommend that you do it. So I just wanted to explain that uh, in this video real quick. And uh, so basically, just, just to keep things simple, you know, all of these power stations, they have a, a limit on how much power you can either output or how much power you can input through charging, right? So, um, yeah, they come up with these numbers because they want to they have a balance, right? They want to have a balance between how much power you can use and then how long the battery is going to last, right? And the reason is simple. The, the reason is simple. So basically, whenever you're outputting power, you're creating heat inside of the battery. And whenever you're inputting power, you're also creating heat inside of the battery. And this heat is actually one of the main driving factors for having your battery degrade and, and basically limiting how many life cycles you're going to get out of your battery. Now, a unit like this that's lithium-ion NMC, you know, that heat is going to affect it more so than an LFP or lithium-iron phosphate battery. But the concept is the same, right? It's the same kind of thing happens. It's just LFP, the heat, you know, doesn't affect it as much, but it still does. So, um, but yeah, so they come up with these numbers like this unit here, this Jack 240, you know, they, they let you output, you know, around 200 watts and then they let you input around 100 watts, right? And um, so basically, whenever you're doing those things, you're creating heat and they don't want you to go over those numbers, right? Because then you would be creating too much heat and that's just going to further degrade the battery, you know, faster and faster. So um, the thing with pass-through charging is, is that, you know, basically, potentially, you could have a situation where you're creating more heat than they would want you to, to do, right? And um, so the key word here is potentially, though, right? So, um, you know, if you're only outputting, like, you know, like I said, this thing can output around 200 watts, but if you're only outputting, like, around 50 watts, and you're, you're, um, you have input coming in at the same time, right? You're not going to be creating all that much heat, right? Because you're not anywhere near the limit. The thing that they worry about is if, is if you got the, the input almost maxed out and you have the output almost maxed out, right? At the same time. That's, that's that situation where you're going to be creating more heat than what they originally designed the unit and the batteries inside for, right? So that's why they say they don't recommend it. But the thing is, you know, just be smart about it, right? If you're only, if you're only having like a small amount of power coming in and you're only having a small amount of power going out, you're not going to be exceeding the amount of heat you're generating inside that battery, more so than if you just had the output maxed out, right? So you're not going to be exceeding that. But the thing is, they don't want to like try and program in like certain parameters. Like, you know, you know, if you're charging with this much power, then we're going to reduce the amount that, you know, you can output and stuff. They don't want to do that, right? Because number one, they don't want to just have to program that in. But they also don't want you as a customer to have a bad user experience. You know, where all of a sudden, you know, you're used to outputting 200 watts on that inverter. And then all of a sudden it's less than that. Like that's. That's just going to lead to bad reviews and so on, right? So it's just easier for them to just say, yeah, you can do it, but we don't recommend it, right? So, um, but yeah, it's, it's just pretty simple. Like I explained, just think about it. The more you're doing, the more heat you're creating. Um, but if you're doing them, you know, if you're, past, if you're doing pass-through charging with just relatively low power going in, relatively low power going out, and you're not really maxing both of those things out at the same time, you're not going to be creating more heat. You're not going to be exceeding anything that they intended for, you know, when they designed this unit. So you're not going to really be damaging the battery or reducing your life cycles, you know, unnecessarily or more than what they claim, right? 
So um yeah, just that's just a that's just a tip, right? So um yeah, basically, you know, do the pass through charging, but just you know try to keep it try to keep it at a, a lower amount, right? So um don't do them all maxed out. Um so yeah, just hopefully someone finds that helpful or interesting. And uh yeah, thanks for watching.